My mother uh, has been blogging now for just over two years. And welcome, Mom. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're in Minnesota. I'm in Colorado. Uh, I helped set you up on blogging uh, just over two years ago. And uh, today, uh, what we want to do with this uh, short video is to just tell your story and my story from a developer's head of, point of view. There's, there's, there's three steps that we walked through over the last couple of years. This ready, set, go idea uh, started with the, the desire to do something with your writing because you are a writer. Well, you know, you, you said I, I'm a writer. Um, lacked courage. I, I, I just, um, I knew I could write. I, but I, and I've always written. Um, I journaled for years, and so writing is a part of my everyday life. But I really wasn't moving towards serious publishing. So when you introduced me to the idea of blogging, which was totally, totally foreign to me, I, I didn't even know what a blog was. So I went along with it because I thought it would push me, mm -hmm. and it has. And a lot has changed since I since I have been blogging. So it is just about writing. But it is, and this is where I think people really feel most strongly about it, is I really feel, as a woman my age, as a woman who's lived a lot of my life, that I do have a message. You know, whether it's just to my grandchildren or immediate friends, it doesn't matter. But, you know, we bring, we all bring something to share to the world. And so that's what I really wanted was to, that's why I really wanted to write. Write is kind of the way of sharing. Yeah. I think this is a common, a, a very common concern or, or interest that people have is how to put their writing into the world today. And that's when I, when, that's when I thought blogging, because I had been doing it for several years and, um, and, and I, I used to own an internet company, so I was, I was thinking, well, why, why not, Mom? What if you, what if you had JudyJube.com and just started writing your ideas and thoughts in a, in a in a blog format? I'm glad you caught on to it. There were some things that you needed to get ready before you could actually even think about blogging. Uh, what were some of those things that you needed to just get in in position? Well. The first thing was to get a personal computer. Um, I shared a computer with your dad, and so I knew that my biggest challenge was to get the computer, to get him away and to get me in it. So, <laughs> and I also want to be able to um, keep my stuff separately stored from him. And also, I took a personal computer with me. We, we didn't have, his was one of the big desk things. So my skills at the time included basically emailing, and I could, um, um, I know how to look things on the internet pretty much. Um, and I could use the word processor. I mean, you can't, if you're going to write, you can't. Uh, the typewriter thing didn't work anymore. <laughs> um, getting ready. I, I, I like to think that what, what, what was important was getting you set up with a little hub. You needed your own computer. Uh, then, then you were ready to sit down with your laptop, pop it open, and connect with this idea of blogging. And then the set part came in. So there's, so there's get ready, but then there's get set. And that's pretty much what I did for you. I mean, what I did was I set, I set my mom up with just a simple theme, uh, a blogging theme. What a blog is, is it actually comes from the word weblog. Uh, the idea was, is okay, I have a thought and I'm going to post it and it's going to spit out on, on my website in a certain format. You get, it seems like people always say how easy it is to set up a blog, but it's really not. It's not that easy. It's, it is a bit complicated. Yeah, yeah, you're shaking your head. You, you would have never <laughs> done it. And, uh, and that, I, I think, of, what's that? I never would have done it. Right, right. I mean, with somebody helping me, or I just want to say that as you were helping me set it up, I don't know how you did this, but you could see, you were able to see what was on my computer at the same time as on your computer. And I don't know how that happened, but that is almost like having someone sit next to you. Yeah. When they see what's on your computer, then it's easier for someone to give instruction. Yeah, so so we got ready, we got set, and now you're blogging. Now, now you've been blogging 
more consistently than I have uh, daily, uh, pretty much. I mean, you you hardly miss a day. What are some lessons that you've learned over the last couple of years, Mom? Oh wow! Um, and this is, I would recommend any writer, uh, you know, unless they're really already published and everything, to to uh, to blog. Um, I think as a writer, one of the most important things is I learn to an economy of words. To, um, to tighten up my writing, and um, uh, I just became a better writer, where I can even uh, edit as I go almost. I it very seldom have to go back and make, make changes. And people, when I've gotten responses, and that's something that's kind of fun about blogging, that you don't, I, I compare it a little bit to, to having a, a column in a newspaper. That's what this feels like to me. I got this column I type out every day. I learned that I can be funny. I I didn't know I was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, um, and I I guess I'm getting to a point where I realize it isn't just my ability to communicate or the way I communicate that's funny, but I think my life is kind of funny. And I sat back, <laughs> kind of funny. My life. I think you told me once that every book that you and Wendy have written. Um, actually is in your blog somewhere. Right. If that, had, that's, a, that's a really interesting point because I think there's a lot of people in the world who want to publish a book and mm -hmm. and they they sometimes think, and I think this is a wrong way of thinking, they sometimes think, well, I can't share it on my blog because I'm saving it for my book. Um, they, you got to yeah. turn that around. You experiment on your blog. You throw ideas out there. Sometimes the feedback comes back and it changes the way you would say it in your book. And you become a better writer too. Important, the most important thing for any blogger out there is to start. You have to be ready, set, and you just have to go. You have to start blogging. Blogging allows you to just put things into practice and kind of kind of bring in bring in little competencies as you go along. Uh, in fact, I, I listed some things that we could be working on with your blog, uh, like uh, social media integration. Uh, now you're really into Facebook. You weren't. When you started blogging before, you were in a, really into Facebook. And, uh, I did not have, no, no yeah, Facebook. Inserting hyperlinks and photos, those kinds of things. Um, we we got to talk about how to do that. And also, I, I'm thinking of guest blogging, uh, some things that you can be doing on other people's blogs. So those are, those are some things that we could be working on. But the, the principle here is that just to get writing, just to get going, it could be very simplistic. It doesn't need to be complex. You don't have to have all your pieces in place. What you need to have is just a blog to start and This writing. is uh, another thing that happened as I blog, and that was that I gained courage. Sometimes I think I was afraid to share some of my thoughts, afraid that it would offend people I cared about. Or being wrong. I mean, there's a, there's a, a real fear of, of forming an opinion and throwing it out there, and then you gain more information later, and you're like, oops, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and so I, I kind of needed to kind of get over that. Yes. The blogosphere is very forgiving about those things, and it actually adds to the conversation. Uh, if you say something, because I do that too, I, I throw things that are very opinionated out there, and, uh, and, and I get hate, you know, people come, come at me for it and stuff. It actually, and my ideas, my thoughts, my opinions have changed over time because of that interaction, because of being wrong at times. And, and that's okay. In the blogosphere, we are, it's more of a community, uh, a room of conversation that's going on that does help us grow as writers. And you know, when my hand's really shaking to press that publish button, because I'm, I know I'm gonna upset my friends, or I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upset people, or I'm gonna challenge people, uh, those have always or typically been my most popular posts mm -hmm. because what I'm thinking is likely what other people are thinking and then they really appreciate that and, and, they, and they, they're they participating in the conversation with me. But the idea of getting really personal about my own life, um, I think I began to share more in my blog, more intimate I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't still don't share everything and I probably never will. So it has opened me up a lot in the past two years. Yeah. I just wanted to share one more thing because we okay. started out with talking about blogs. Um, when we, when I first wanted to do this, I think I shared with you that there were things in my my journals 
that could be published. That, you know, and, that, and I, my gut said that was true. Um, but what I've learned as I've gone along is that any of the thoughts that were worthy, any of the ideas, perspectives that, that really had worth, came back to me in a new circumstance. Mm. I didn't, I've never gone back. I mean, I might someday, but, <clears throat> but, I, but I think that anything I journaled about 10 years ago probably came back again and again because there was some truth in it or something. Mm -hmm. and, and so there's enough stuff going on in my life now on a day-to-day -day basis that those old um, ideas or beliefs kept coming back. I've got things rolling now. I'm more in the present than, than in the past, and that's, uh, boy, that's deep, Mom. Yeah, you, should you should write a blog post on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But my hope is that uh, people who watch this conversation, this half-hour conversation that we just had, uh, find the encouragement to go ahead and get ready, get set, and go. Just do it. Uh, go and, and, and write and, and share your gifts with the world. That's that's why that's why we, Mom, you and I wanted to get together and just share our thoughts with people because what we've done over the last couple of years has been really, really neat. Thank you for watching. Thanks. I mean, that's Bye, it. everybody. <laughs> <laughs>